now Something Dead or Alive is about to talk to you in your house. Banana Arms Venus was yeah. a direct. I mean, they even went in and said to our producer, "We want to sound like Dead and Alive." I do, I'm not angry about that. I'm not slagging them, but it, it disheartens me somewhat when people like Kim Wilde can do that record, "Set Me Free," with what is like a Dead or Alive production, and I find it so easy to have a hit. And so, she's praised so much for this new style of music she's invented, and really, it was us all along. You are actually starting to have a sound that was very, very a dead or alive sound, and the sound that obviously was going to be copied. Um, we didn't think it would be copied because we didn't think that many people could cope with, with manufacturing that kind of sound because it is a very intricately manufactured sound. It's a lot of contradicting elements and they're all mixed up too high and it, it's a very hard sound. Um, we didn't think other bands would feel um, confident about going out with a sound like that, but due to our success they all did. Right. So now it's become um, like uh, instant Dead Alive records, there's a lot of them going around at the moment and uh, we get no credit whatsoever, it just disheartens me because the only thing I ever wanted credit for was the music, I never wanted credit for being a wonderful person or a, or a great human being or, or looking peculiar, I just wanted credit for the music but yet, yet again that's snatched away from us. Masculine, you're not there. 